been a while since I've looked at devices with the All Winner H3 processor. The two devices I have are the Beelink X2 and the Orange Pi PC development board. The Beelink X2 was a TV box I got my hands on way back in 2015 and I absolutely loved it. Android run beautifully smooth on it and for the price you couldn't really complain. Being so cheap, the Beelink X2 of course received lots of development like the likes of Ambien for example, or LibreLeq and OpenLeq. Now I've not really visited the Beelink X2 for quite some time, mainly because those developments kind of came to an end, especially where the likes of LibreLeq was concerned. I was really hoping to see the latest versions, unfortunately that never happened. Now, when the Sunvel H3 came along, I kind of realized that the All Winner H3 processor wasn't finished just yet. You see, the Sunvel H3 featured Nougat. Now, although it run okay, it wasn't the best experience ever, but it did show that, you know, the H3 processor isn't dead as far as All Winner is concerned. I really thought they'd finished with KitKat, but no, they released the Nougat source code and we then received the Sunvel H3. As well as that, the Orange Pi PC with the H3 processor has had Nougat for the last year or so. So I thought to myself, well, maybe we can get Nougat running on the Beelink X2. So I downloaded it and installed it onto the X2 using Phoenix card. And surely enough, it booted. Unfortunately, it was a Chinese version of the ROM and it doesn't work that great. But it does go to show Nougat definitely runs on the Beelink X2. Now Android's not something I'm overly interested in on this particular device. So I delved a little bit deeper and found a community member, a developer producing the latest version of LibreLeq for the Orange Pi PC and the Beelink X2, bringing us Cody Lear on these devices. Of course, it's a brand new development. It's not perfect, but it's definitely going in the right direction. It was just released just last month in September 2018. And if you guys are interested, I shall leave the links in the description below where you can actually find the files to boot from your Orange Pi PC or your Beelink X2. So if you've got one of these, give it a go and let me know in the comment section below how you get on. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Matthew and you've been watching another video by the MXQ Project. Of course, don't forget to check out the website mxqproject.com, Facebook group and of course Twitter. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and we shall see you very soon.